Hello everybody and welcome to the last in the Forza Week series. A series which has aimed to find the best car in all of Forza Motorsport 4 and consequently Forza Motorsport. It's been an interesting list. We have seen the Dodge Charger SRT8, the BMW 1M, the Honda NSXR, the Mosler MT900S, the Audi RS5, the Aston Martin V12 Vantage, the Porsche GT3, 911, 997RS, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG 6.3, although it's only a 6.2, the Bugatti Veyron 16.4 quad turbo, and the Lamborghini Aventador, with as near as makes no difference, 700 brake horsepower. But now we arrive at number one, and the number one is the Ferrari 458 Italia. It is my namesakes, uh, pretty much. Uh, whenever I play PlayStation uh, Network, whenever I play on Steam, my name is F458 Chania, and Chania is the name that I go by on this YouTube channel mostly. But why? Why is this car the best in Forza, and why, more importantly, is it my namesakes? Well, it's all to do with the car itself. It has a 4.5 litre V8 engine producing 562 brake horsepower and 398 pounds per square foot of torque. Which is quite a lot if you think about it. Which means it manages to do 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds and achieve a top speed of 202 miles per hour. So there's no doubting the V8 Ferrari has gotten properly fast over the years. But this car is more than is more than just speed deep. You see, this car can handle and handle brilliantly, and there's a lot of reasons for that. The gorgeous body that you can see on this car is not there just to look good. It is there to make it good in the corners. As you as you look at the top of the front wheel arches, you will see a little gap in the bodywork. That is to let air escape from under the wheel arches because if uh, too much air gets in there the spinning wheel creates lift that lifts the front of the car up and makes handling worse. You know, results in understeer. They have also crafted the front wings of this car. They sort of have active Formula 1 style wings. If you look at the nose you'll see those sort of fins in the middle of the radiator grille. They are wings which flex out of the way the faster you are going um, to reduce the drag. But then, when you're slowing down, they flex in the way, into the way and give you that littlest bit more downforce at the front end, which is important. The whole body is crafted to sculpt air around the car and direct it mainly to the diffuser and the air intakes. Normally they would be featured somewhere on top of the car, but you see they interrupt with the airflow, makes it very inefficient. So for the Ferrari 458 Italia, Ferrari decided to sort of, well, put them underneath the car instead, thinking that the air underneath the car is just as good to cool the car as the air going over it. And they're right, and they managed to keep the good handling, the good top speed, it looks better, good solution. And on top of all that, it means that they can also direct more air under the car into the diffuser, which is the main source of downforce on a road car, really. Uh, particularly on this one, since it hasn't got any spoiler. This rear diffuser really does suck the car down at top speed, keeps it very, very stable. Also keeps it very stable in fast corners, which will stop you from sliding at 120 miles per hour. Because let's be honest, you really do not want the ass of the car kicking itself out at 120 miles per hour. Trust me, I know. And then, if all of this still isn't enough, they have an incredibly complicated rear suspension system, which keeps the rear tyres just rooted, glued to the track at all times. And what that means is they've also been able to fit the car with an incredibly fast rack. I mean, you turn the wheel a tiny bit, the, the front just goes, just goes where you want it to, without any questions asked. All of this really translates into Forza, and on top of that, most cars on Forza, and I have said this before in the BMW 1M video from earlier in the week, 
Most cars, they, they, they go really, really fast, but then the brakes are just shocking. They will have worse brakes than some of the cars that are slower than them, and that means that you really do have to be braking really, really quite a fair bit more early than you should. The 458 Italia, no such problems. Massive, big ventilated discs stop you really, really well, and you can just get on and attack this car. Plus, you're probably going to enjoy doing that, because the more attacking you do, the more throttle you're using, which means the more noise you're creating. And in the Ferrari 458 Italia, that in itself is a reason to drive it, because the Ferrari 458 Italia's noise is one of the best in the whole of the automotive world. Have I convinced you yet that this is the number one car? Because if I haven't, then you're probably a little bit mad.